Oh, hey. I didn't know you were home. I thought you were working late tonight for some reason. No? Hmm. Hmm. Tired. Huh? Oh, nothing. I'm good. Just exhausted from last night. <laughs> yeah, I stayed out a little too late. No. No, I wasn't on a date. Just me and the guys. <laughs> I wasn't on a date. Why would I lie to you about that? Whatever. I tell you everything, don't I? I would tell you if I was on a date. Well, what about you? You weren't here when I got home last night. <laughs> oh, you were at your sister's. Mm-hmm. A likely story. <laughs> well, I guess I believe you. So, um... What are you doing tonight? Do you have plans or anything? Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm going to hang out at home tonight, too. Just lay low, maybe order delivery or something. Yeah, I know. I feel like I haven't really seen you this week. We've both been coming and going a lot. Yeah, let's watch a movie. <laughs> yes, I let you pick this time. <laughs> Come on, it wasn't that scary. That weak-ass slasher movie scared you? <laughs> Poor baby. <laughs> Next time I'll cover your eyes for you. And I'll tell you when the scary part is happening so you can leave the room. <laughs> so, um, speaking of dates, are you still... Uh, still talking to that guy? The, uh, the chef? Yeah? Uh-huh. How's that going? Good. Good. Mm-hmm. Um, he's treating you well? What? I'm sorry, I can't I be interested in my best friend's dating life? Just want to make sure he's treating you right. Okay? You know, taking you out, opening doors for you and all that. He is. Okay. Well, that's good to hear. Like, he's been taking you out? Oh, nice. That place is, like... Well, it's, like, super expensive, right? Is it the fancy sushi place downtown? Wow. Shit. So he really tries to impress you, huh? Does he... Um, make you feel good? Like, are you comfortable around him? Well, I guess I just mean... Uh, I mean, he's not pressuring you into moving too fast. Because I know you are just trying to go slow and have fun after everything you went through last year with your ex. Good. Good. <laughs> oh, come on, shut up. You know, I'm just looking out for you. I know how guys can be, and what do I do on dates? Um, well, you'll have to go out with me to find out. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I just, I, um, I try to make them feel special, pay for everything. Well, unless she wants specifically to go half and half. Um, well, I don't know. Now you're just putting me on the spot. <laughs> well, 
Whatever. I, I'm a good boyfriend. I'm old-fashioned. I like uh, chivalry. Yeah. I'm actually a great boyfriend. So, is it getting serious between you and the chef? Yeah? Okay. So I should expect to see him around here? Or hear him, rather? Whoa! Okay, okay. It's not my business. <laughs> well, he's a lucky guy. Uh, no, I, I just meant, you know, he's a lucky guy because you're such a great person. He is lucky, well, anyone would be lucky to be with you. I am lucky that I get to live with you, you know, and have you as a friend, you know. Yes, of course I mean it. You totally get me. It's nice having someone who understands me so well. I really appreciate our friendship. Everything you do for me. <laughs> okay, okay, this is getting so sappy. Put on a movie already, okay? Oh my god, you're never going to let me live this down, are you? I just meant that, that you're a good person, and I want to make sure that you're being treated right. Okay? That these guys are treating you how... how I would treat you, if you and I were... I've... yeah. I mean, maybe I've thought about it before. I mean, you come home and complain about not being listened to or not feeling appreciated by the guys you're going out with. And I... Well, I can't help but think about how I would do it differently. I would never... I would never let you feel unappreciated. Never disrespect you. How would I? How would I treat you if we were together? Well, um, I would... I would make you feel good. All the time. You would be my number one priority. <laughs> what? You... You want me to keep going? Um, okay. I would... Well, I would treat you well. At night, when you get home from work, I would... greet you at the door with a glass of wine. <laughs> okay, okay, that's stupid. <laughs> Too cliché. I would... I would make dinner for you. Not every day, but you know... We take turns. And I'd ask you about your day. Obviously. But I'd actually listen. Yeah. I would listen and ask you questions and... and... you know, actually be engaged. I know how guys can be sometimes. Like, they'll pretend they are listening, but they are just nodding along and thinking about completely other things. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. I'd care. I do care about what's going on in your life. And I would also make you feel safe. You know, emotionally. Physically, too, of course. <laughs> But I'd make you feel like, you know, you, like you could tell me anything. Which you can by the way. And, um... I would also be... 
assertive and always tell you exactly what I want. Is that... Was that okay? Yeah? Good. Because... I've wanted to do that for so long. You're glad I did that? <laughs> I am too. And I don't know why now felt like the right time, but... Thank you for listening. For the entire story, please visit audiodesires.com, your safe space for erotic audio experiences. Do you want a happier, healthier sex life? We have hundreds of stories and guides for every mood, tailored to your lust, your desires, your climax.